Okay, first thing we've got for this question says, without using a calculator, find the exact value of this expression, showing your stages of the working. Um, Harun, what did you do to begin with for this? Uh, I expanded. Okay, so you're going to expand the brackets. Will you do that for me, please? Um, so I've got sine squared from 2.5. Yep. Plus 2 sine times 2.5 plus 2.5. Plus plus squared 2.5. Very nice, good. What do you notice next? Uh, yeah, sine squared of 22.5 plus cos squared of 22.5 is 1, because sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is 1. Whatever that angle, as long as it's the same, you get 1. And what is this thing the same as here? Um, that's sine of 2 theta. Good. This is the same as sine of 2 theta. So this will be plus plus sine 45. Okay, this is equivalent to these two things because of the double angle formula. And sine 45 is? 1 over root 2. So I can leave it like that. If you want to, you could add them together. You could rationalize the denominator. I'm quite happy to just leave it in that form that we've got there. So it's a little bit different. Again, it's just reminding us you're going to have to spot this double angle formula. We are moving away from the double angle formula for a little bit, and then we'll be coming back to it when we, um, when we come to exercise 7F, I think. So part two of the question is unrelated to part one. Um, and it says, show that cos 2 theta plus sine theta equals 1 may be written in this form here. What's the main thing that you should notice about the form that you've got here? It's all sine squared. So which version of cos 2 theta are you going to use, Sam? Good. 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. So I'm just going to replace the cos 2 theta with 1 minus 2 sine squared theta plus sine theta equals 1. And then... The ones will cancel, so I can then put them onto the other side to make it equal zero. So if I cancel the ones, so you have zero there, you would get zero equals two sine squared theta minus sine theta, which is what they wanted here. And it says state the value of k. k is two. And then for part B of that question, it says solve this equation between zero and 360. Well, that means you're going to use the same thing that you've done here Again, instead of solving this equation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve this equation because those two statements that I've highlighted in yellow are the same thing. So I can't solve this one because the arguments are different. So I will solve this one here where the arguments are the same. And the way I should solve this for part B of the question, I should do what do you think? I should factorize it. So when I factorize it, I have sine theta 2 sine theta minus 1, which tells me either sine theta is equal to 0 or sine theta is equal to a half. Why did I say 1? Sine theta is equal to 0. And what are the values of theta that give you 0? Zero? 0, and 180. 0, 180, and 360, but it's not in the range. So you just get 0 and 180. And what values of theta give you a half? 30, 30 and 150. 150, which is 180 minus 30. So we've done the whole question without a calculator. Okay? Just a bit of a recap from some of those things that you will have been having a look at for homework. So 